Hey there, it's Ben with another watch review. Today I wanted to take a quick look at the uh, one of my favorites from my collection, the Orient Polaris Auto GMT. So let me just get this off watch or off wrist real quick here so we can take a look at this. Get that uh, clasp all folded up right here. So um, yeah, this is my favorite watch. There's so many things that uh, just really work for me with regards to this watch that I'm extremely pleased with it. Um, let's talk a little bit more about it. So I uh, bought this one for about $400 from Long Island Watch. Thank you very much, Mark. I love this watch. Um, just, you know, spectacular in a lot of ways. First thing that, uh, you know, let's just kind of go through some of the dimensions. We're looking at a 42 millimeter case, uh, 12 millimeters thick, and let's see, uh, tip to tip this direction here, we're looking at 46 millimeters, um, 22 millimeter lug width for the strap that's right here. 50 meters water resistance, and uh, you can see right here we do have the, the power meter. It says it's a 40 hour power reserve, but you know what? When I you know let this kind of go, get let it wind all the way down, I can usually get closer to 45 to 47 hours, so I do get a little bit extra that's there, um, kind of like that. Inside we've got a, an Orient, so let's take a look at that uh, real quick. Inside here through we have an exhibition case back here. We do have an in-house Orient movement. It is the caliber 40 P51. Um, one of the things I like about it is hacking and hand winding. That's one of the reasons why I was really attracted to it, uh, because I like to have that option with it. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, you saw back there, we do have the exhibition case back, which you can see the rotor that kind of spins around. And um, I, I like that, you know, I don't, you know, how often do you really look at your, you don't really look at it all the time, but it is just nice to look in from time to time. You can see the rotor kind of tilting back and forth there. Uh, let's see, what else? Strap, uh, boy. Uh, kind of, I'm not sure how I feel about this strap. This is, as you can see, a uh, alligator green strap, and um, yeah, it's it's backwards. Yes, I know. See, yeah, look here. Let's just open it up here real quick. You usually have your your keeper and your bands coming up on the opposite side of your wrist, but as you look at this one here, when you undo it, uh, yeah, it's kind of going the wrong direction. So. I know, hey Ben, why don't you just flip everything around and make it look that way? Well, the interesting part is when you flip that deploying clasp, this part right here, if you flip it the other direction, maybe it works for other people, but for me it just digs into my hand and it just didn't feel good. So I just get right here on the underside of my wrist to just really dig in versus the way that they've got it set up here with the, with the strap going on the interior of the wrist. So like on this side, instead of on the outside over here. Um, with that happening, um, the, the clasp works right here, but to, to me, it just looks kind of funny. Not a big fan of that. Um, it's also, you can probably see there, it's starting to get a little stained on the inside there. Um, this strap is probably near the end of its life just because um, you ever had that strap too long and you know it starts to get that little slight odor to it, guess what's starting to happen? Yep, starting to get that odor to it. You know, just one of those things. So that's one of the things that kind of pulls me back about it. But one of the things, the other parts that I absolutely love about it is I just love that textured dial. Look at that like waffle pattern that you've got on the main dial. And then also when you look at the power reserve, you kind of got that wave pattern. Uh, man, I just really like that. Another thing I really like is, see if I can catch it right there. Look at that, the blued hands. Really like those. Those just look really, really sharp. Um, of course, there's no loom on this one. It is a dressy-ish watch, um, but just you know, I think it looks great with those blued hands in there, as well as everything else that goes along with the with the uh, dial. I do have it just kind of set on local time here, even though it's a GMT. Um, I could have it set to other locations, and when I do, I do have a friend that travels abroad. They like to go to Israel, so I will set that to a different time zone because uh, when they travel, I need to be in contact with them because uh, you know we, we do business transactions together. But uh, you know, I, I usually keep it on local time. But I really do like it. Um, there's a lot to really love about this watch. Great timekeeper as well. As I as I go through and as I use this one, I'm noticing that I'm gaining about. And not, this isn't you know nothing that I've verified with using a, any kind of a, a timer or anything like that. But I'm only gaining probably about maybe a second or two a day, maybe. I mean, it's really really close in terms of where it's at. So in terms of everything, you know, 30 seconds a month. That's pretty darn accurate for a, a mechanical movement, in my opinion. So. 
Um, like I said, I bought it for about 400 bucks. It's uh, the second most expensive one that I have in my collection. The other one being, of course, the Seiko Sumo that I have. Um, which one do I like more? Do I like this one more? Or do I like the Sumo more? They're very different, of course. One's a diver, one's more. Uh, this is a GMT, which is more dressy and whatnot. Uh, by far, I love this one more. Uh, if I had to give up one of them, I would definitely want to keep this one. It's just my favorite one of the bunch, just because it looks so nice. Um, get a lot of compliments when I wear it. You know, a lot of people will say, man, that's just a great watch. Where did you get it? That kind of stuff. So thanks again to Mark from Long Island Watch for uh, selling this to me uh, about a year ago. And um, just love it. So if there's any other questions you have, just let me know. Uh, write some comments down in the section below and see if I can do anything for you. But uh, thanks again for watching my video.